I was involved in my research in 1998 when we uh, wrote a proposal. At the time, there was no treatment for myopia. And I remember one, of the, one, at the, at one incident, and there was a public lecture, and all the experts are invited to talk to parents. And the parents keep asking the question, well, my kids are, are very highly myopic, and, and they are they're progressing like mad, one, two diopter per year. Expert, what can, what can we do? At the time, there was absolutely no treatment. And I was thinking, I was, in, I was one of the panel's members, and I was jotting down, I was thinking, what are the literature telling us all these years of work in animal work and so on? And then all of a sudden I thought, of, I thought about this idea, which is an optical defocus, which how the normal eye respond to an environment and how it will grow in, into different sizes. I thought, well, in, in there, there is a component that you can manipulate and the eye will respond to it and then slow its growth. So I thought that might be exciting. So I quickly jot down everything. I still remember I was in a restaurant. I thought I, I, I might forget, so I, I pick up a uh, ordering form and turn it over and I just write everything. I still have a paper with me. I worked with Professor Chi Ho To and on this in 2002. And at that time, we thought of a mechanism that can control the eye growth. And from there, we work on a few animals and prove the concept. And then we know that we have to work on a clinical trial. So at that time, funding wasn't available. So we have to go for uh, some industrial uh, partnership and trying to get their funding, but it wasn't easy. So at the end, we applied uh, Hong Kong government funding and we got it. So we started the clinical trial and it was very nice that we proved our concept that uh, we can control myopia progression uh, in young children. We were very excited and I, I lost sleep about two, three days, really, really seriously. I couldn't sleep because that is very exciting. At the time, there's no treatment. And I think it is, I thought it, it will be the solution to myopia. So the next step is to, um, to make it into a, a, a clinical trial for kids. Again, we, we went to different people, a, a big uh, international company who was very good in making contact lenses. So we found a big uh, company and they, they're not interested. And uh, we have difficulty to talk to them. And, and some, some of the company actually, actually took our idea and developed their own product. That was, that was very, very bad. Us. And then eventually we find a local manufacturer and make the lens and Professor Lam and I conducted a clinical trial using contact lens and we found that we can slow down myopia by, by about 60%. We were very, very excited. And that was the best result, an optical treatment for myopia at the time and still is. That was a contact lens and we already patented that and uh, very happy that the result showed 60% of uh, slowing down myopia with the lens that we designed. We call it the disc lens. After that, we try to license it so that it can be in the market. But again, that it wasn't easy. And we also think that it is not uh, maybe the best option for young children because wearing contact lenses needs to have a very strict protocol that they have to clean the lens well, clean their hands well. So, so it, it would be much better to have a spectacle lens. So the idea really is to to, to put the myopic control component into a spectacle lens so everybody can use it. Again, that took us at least three, four years. And actually, we, we are not the only group of thinking about translating into a spectacle uh, modality. And the major challenge is that the eye behind the spectacle lens will move. Contour lens is different because contour lens move your eyes. So the optics has to, has to be flexible. It means that whenever you look at which side lens, um, area of the lens, it still works. So then, I was um, traveling the bus and uh, I was thinking about this, how can we do that? I don't know whether there's bus in, 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 in this part of the world. You know, in Hong Kong, bus, they have a shaded mirror which cut out light. So the way they do it is they put a lot of black dots on the mirror so you can see through it. At the same time, it cut down light. I thought, wow, that's just exactly the idea we need. And we turn it black dots into lenses and the lenses will produce this optical signal that slow down eye growth. But the same thing happened. We do not have the funding support. So we look out for different uh, lens companies. At the end, uh, we found a company called Hoya, and they have the technology to match with our design. And at the end, it's a very beautiful collaboration. So we, we did another clinical trial uh, from 2015. Uh, 2015. Since then, the results of two years also demonstrated 60% of 
retardation in myopia. The very good news is that children have no compliance issue. They just wear the lenses like any other spectacle lens. And uh, another good news is that one in five children have their myopia stopped completely. So they have no further progression. And we're also very happy that Hoyer company is very supportive. And now we come into agreement of uh, licensing and they are going to launch the lens in coming summer. I think the challenge to Hoyer at the time was that you have to produce a lens that the kids would like to wear. And, and their technology is very, very good. And you, you can look at the lenses very similar to a sing, single vision lens, but yet the results show that it is very good and sold down myopia by 60%. So we're very happy. I think like any research, it is difficult in the beginning um, to prove a concept needs time and also resources. We finally get it done. We confirm that it can work in human. And it, it is kind of very excited that uh, we can help our next generation, especially in Asia. So where 80% of the young children are short-sighted. And short-sighted can bring into a health issue. So there could be possible higher chance of retinal complications. So we are thinking that we do not want our next generation to suffer. So in this process, even though it is difficult, but we managed to go on a step at a time. And I think, again, it is also a kind of luck that we managed to find a right partner and then we can work together to have a final outcome, a product that can be launched. I say that we have a lot of difficult moments and it's like a roller coaster. Someday you're very excited with the research results and another day you feel that nobody really cares about your results. But uh, I hope that uh, it's not the end you know, for, for most researchers that uh, it is a process. So it, we will get recognized if your stuff is good and if it is really a, a working uh, principle, then it will eventually get into uh, a, a good outcome. So I think we, we are at this stage. We're hoping that after launching the product, then uh, that the myopia progression can be, uh, well, affected.